when does parenting get easier? When they move out. Yeah. Period. <laughs> Before that time, it sucks. <laughs> question that you pose is when parenting gets easier i guess my first question is what is hard about parenting let's define what's hard oh, about wow. parenting oh wow Oof. where do you start i would say what's not hard about parenting honestly like everything is hard about parenting right for me in particular my patience is probably the hardest things that i have to do robotically are not hard like what? Changing diapers, cooking, Change the diapers, driving to school, wash the clothes, get in the car, put the kids in the car, take them to school, pick them up. Yeah. You know, from the moment you have kids, you can't finish a thought. <laughs> you really mm -hmm. can't. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because everything, everything else, is else is hard. Yes. Okay. Name a couple things that, that fall into that hard bucket. Like I would say the hazing that comes from no sleep when they first get home. Mm -hmm. um, so that's baby parenting. Yeah, that's baby uh -huh. parenting. And it, unfortunately, it gets harder as they get older. So um, then you go into this, well, my friends can do it. My friends can go. Why can't I? So now there's your, your kids have the ability to think and have opinions. Sometimes their opinions and their friends' opinions and their friends' parents' opinions don't go along with how you are trying to raise your children. Yeah, That's definitely hard. And you, I think you hit that probably more so in middle school than you do in grade school mm -hmm. or maybe at the end of grade school high school is the hardest i remember hearing that before it's not that i didn't believe it it was just that i had no experience in it so you know you kind of take it with a grain of salt but by far 1000 percent, high school will be the hardest and the most challenging chapter in your parenting definitely more so than any 20 something it's definitely gonna be high school and what's hard about that is your patience and your ability to try to keep your hands off of them, not choke them out or kick them out. <laughs> <laughs> Insert Bart Simpson being choked out by Homer. That's real. Mm. Yeah. So that's those are those are I just gave you stages. I gave you baby. I gave you a middle school. I gave you high school. Those are the hearts. OK, so there's hard things. <clears throat> As I heard you talking and listing all that stuff, the vision that I had was that of a tunnel. And parenting is a very long tunnel. If you're doing it, then you're committing to it. Yeah. You know, if you don't jump out of it, which I guess is you could do, you could just abandon your kids if you wanted to. But, you know, parenting <laughs> is this tunnel, you know, where before the tunnel, you were like, in video game terms, you were just in the free world. You're just out of here, you can turn left, turn right, yeah. go wherever you want. Yeah. But now you have to follow the path of the tunnel, mm -hmm. which leads to the betterment of these young people mm -hmm. and their safe raising and becoming of young adults. Mm -hmm. What's funny about that is as I further talk it out, I think that belief of what we're supposed to do actually is the the thing that holds the tunnel in place. Like if you got new information, maybe that tunnel turns and you do things a little differently mm -hmm. versus like kind of just following what your parents did or what you saw somewhere. Yeah. We don't talk about this stuff enough with older people. If you're thinking about becoming a parent, mm -hmm. you should probably be talking with people who have raised kids. Maybe I your, think that your would own scare parents. <laughs> you know, there's two forms of thought. I think our parents, they want to politely tell you about parenthood. You know, like, you know, hey, it can be difficult. There are great times, yada, yada, yada. But like our generation is much more... Holy shit. <laughs> you're you're in for some trouble here. <laughs> you know, I guess this ain't gonna be easy. The question nobody ever asks because of the birds and the bees, birds are attracted to the flower because it's it programmed into their nature, like ah, this thing. And that's programmed in there so that the species can propagate. Oh, so we're not we we shouldn't be telling them the truth. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying oh. <laughs> I'm just saying that the reason that we propagate a lot of times has nothing to do with us thinking ahead and saying I really want to propagate. It, True. It's, it's I agree, a I after agree. function yeah. of the fact that nature has programmed <clears throat> into us the sweetness of the of the process of propagating, right? Okay. And so that's going to happen. A certain amount of or a certain percentage of adults are going to reproduce and have kids right. without planning. It's right. going to happen. Maybe we should be talking more about that, not just like sex ed, but like 
if there were a really robust conversation that somebody could help you answer the question, well, why do you want to have kids besides the urge? That could be super informative and helpful. Maybe people would go into it with more options and their eyes open. Like, who did you talk to in advance? Did you talk to anybody or was it just like, ah, I'm pregnant, ah! Yeah. yeah, let's get back to, I think we went like really, really, <laughs> really far right. When does parenting get easier? When they move out. Yeah. Period. <laughs> Before that time, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you all that filler because the answer was going to be quick. When they go on, it gets easier. And I'm not saying it's easy when they right. move out because you still love them and they took your heart with, with them. Yeah. But it's easier. It is much easier. You know, you're, you're, you're parenting from a distance, you know. I no longer have all these active thoughts of, is he doing this? Is he doing that? Is she doing this? Is she doing what she's supposed to be doing? That is gone. That's just... Yeah, my mom calls often. That's from the past. She calls often. You know, she wants to know how her kids and her grandkids are doing. She wants to be included. So there's a different difficulty that comes later in the, later down the line that I can see it. You know, I can see having molded your life around being a parent and then a grandparent mm -hmm. and then not living in the same city. You know, like your entire life, aside from your childhood up until that point when mm -hmm. you became a parent, has been geared towards being a part of the molding and the shaping and the daily celebrations and you know ups and downs of these young people that you've raised mm -hmm. so i think there's another hurdle coming that we haven't gotten to yet but at my level of experience parenting has been difficult there have been a great many joys yeah absolutely and uh it's definitely been worth it because i am a parenting type person some people aren't some hmm. people don't ever want to have kids i yeah. have friends that are that way uh -huh. that's cool but it definitely got easier to really appreciate and experience those joys as the kids got out of high school. Yes, <clears throat> I agree with that. You know, another thing, something that you were saying, I find that when the kids are younger, you know, like in grade school, and you're able to have conversations with them, and then, and then middle school, I wasn't thinking about, I'm trying to create this human that can take care of themselves and be a good person and a hard worker. <clears throat> Those things never crossed my mind. It's funny because as your conversations mature with your child, I remember very clearly having conversations with them when they were junior and senior and even a sophomore. Now we're starting to teach you how to be able to function by yourself. You're not teaching that in middle school. You're not teaching that in grade school. You know, I'm just teaching you we're working on math and different things like that. But like once they get in their sophomore, their junior, their senior year, now we're having different conversations. Like these things that we're teaching you are so that you can operate on your own. In a few years, you're going to be going to college. You're gonna, you're gonna have to do these things by yourself. And it's funny because Mike just called us this weekend <laughs> about his laundry again. And so um, you were saying something about raising the kids in this tunnel and I agree with you. And it's funny how um, conversations change from when they're younger to when they get older. Now we're talking about, hey, I need you need to know how to cook. Hey, you need to know how to go to the grocery store and buy the things that you need. You need to be able to wash your clothes. And they don't wanna do any of it. But right. then, like now, when Mike is away from home, he's calling us like, delicates, <laughs> worms, colds, can I wash them together? All his pants. Yeah, can I wash them together? <laughs> like, okay, now how do I dry them? Where do I hang them? <laughs> It's just different. The, these are not things that are on your radar when they're in grade school. But the end result is from the time they're born, we are trying to really create and mold a good person, a hard worker to put out into the world. So when does parenting get easier? When they are gone. 